Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new series on Angular. Now, if you are a returning subscriber, you may already know that there is an extensive tutorial series in the channel on Angular 2. The reason I wanted to create another series on Angular is that there are a couple of things that I have not covered in the Angular 2 series which I feel you should know as an Angular developer. Also, as you may know, as of November 2017, Angular is now Angular 5 and there have been some changes as well. So in this video, we are going to have a brief introduction to what Angular is and why you would want to learn Angular. We will take a look at the history of Angular and whether you should learn Angular with all the version changes that you see right now. I also want to discuss whether this series on my channel will be useful to you in the long run. So let's get started. Angular is a framework that is used to build client-side applications. And it is especially great for building single page applications where parts of the view get refreshed asynchronously without having to reload the entire page. So any application that relies heavily on JavaScript, Angular is a great choice. Now, why learn Angular as opposed to some other JavaScript framework or library? Now, there are a couple of points. The first one is that by design, Angular promotes modular approach and hence the application you build will have a clear structure. And by making use of components, which is a feature of Angular, we can have a lot of reusable code. Angular has a lot of inbuilt capabilities such as validation, routing and so on, which makes development quicker and easier. Angular even makes it possible to write unit testable and easily maintainable code. And finally, Angular is also a product from the Google team and makes use of TypeScript language from Microsoft. So it is safe to say Angular is here to stay. With that, let's take a brief look at Angular's history. The first version of Angular, which is popularly known as AngularJS, was released in 2010. This was a huge hit and a lot of organizations started using AngularJS to build their enterprise applications. But then in 2016, Angular version 2, which was called as just Angular, was released. It was announced that AngularJS will refer to the 1.x versions and Angular without the JS will refer to versions 2 and up. In December 2016, Angular 4 was announced. Version 3 was skipped to avoid a confusion due to the misalignment of the router's package version which was already distributed as version 3.3.0. But you don't have to worry much about that. And then there is Angular 5 which was released on November 1st, 2017. And as of this recording, the latest version is Angular 5, which is what we will be learning in this series. Now let's discuss about whether you should learn Angular with all the version changes happening and if this series will still hold good as the versions change. I've seen comments like, I didn't even get to Angular 4 yet and there's already Angular 5. And I'm pretty sure that this is a concern with a lot of us. So let me clear things out. In any framework, there is always room for improvement and same is the case with Angular. So the Google team has decided they will upgrade Angular twice a year and stick to semantic versioning. Now, if you're unaware, in semantic versioning, we have a major version number, a minor version number and a patch number. The patch number, which you see at the rightmost, is increased any time there is a bug fix or some sort of a patch. The minor version number increases when there are added features that don't break any functionality. The major version number, which you see on the left hand side, changes when there is a break in any of the functionalities. And since Angular will be upgraded twice a year, you can see that the major version number changing twice a year as well. In fact, Angular 6 is planned for April 2018 and Angular 7 for October 2018. But you don't have to worry because the Google team has told that these versions will be backward compatible. And the changes you see from version to version 
will not be so great that it breaks your entire application. So you can without any hesitation start learning Angular. And Angular is going to be one of the more popular and powerful frameworks in the future. So definitely a good framework to have in your pocket. Finally, a few words on whether this series will hold good in the long run. Now, as I mentioned already, the concepts in Angular aren't going to change with every version change. So when Angular upgrades, all I need to do is change the title from Angular 5 to Angular 6 or Angular 7 and so on. This is to only ensure that people searching for the tutorial can find it easily on YouTube. And at the end of the series, I will add additional videos for any feature that changes with the version. So you can watch the series with the peace of mind that what you learn will not be wasted. And you can come back to the same series even a year from now. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so that you are alerted of the new content. Alright then, with this introduction, let's get started with Angular.